Hi guys, it's Josh from Bonsai N, and today we're going to be showing you how to turn your regular old Christmas tree into a bonsai Christmas tree. Now I do want to give a quick disclaimer at the start of this video. If you decide to mangle your wife's Christmas tree and she kills you, that's not our responsibility. So proceed at your own risk. Now the first thing we've got to do before we get started is actually tear the tree down um, so we can see what we're working with in terms of the trunk and we can pick our best front and then we can start putting some branches back on and shaping them. So let's get into the tear down. All right, so we've got the tree torn down now. So the first thing we've got to do, like any good bonsai, real or fake, we've got to choose our best base and our best front. And I mean, we don't really have much choice here. We've got, you know, four roots here. They're uh, pretty straight, pretty boring. The person who uh, grew this did a pretty terrible job. But we've got a clip on this side. We're probably going to want to hide that. And we're not going to want these facing the viewer straight on. We want to try and avoid those straight on line or the eye poker lines. So if we were to maybe rotate, rotate the tree this way just a little bit, maybe even that way, we might disguise that clip around the back there a little bit and we take that straight line out of the, the Nabari here. So we're going to put that forward, turn that just a little bit and our next task, which is going to be quite difficult, is to see if we can actually get any movement in this trunk at all. If we can't, we're going to have to go for more of an alpine style upright tree, which I guess is not too terrible, but if we can get some movement in this, it'll be a much nicer tree at the end of it. So I'm going to try and see what I can do because the center of this is actually aluminium or aluminum for our American viewers. Um, you know, we want to make you guys feel at home here too. Uh, the only issue I can see with the aluminium tube here is it's very short distances between here. And I mean, that's fantastic. Look at our internodal length here. That's just brilliant. You don't get any better than that. But when it comes to aluminium, that's going to make it harder, harder for us to bend it. Um, because we don't really have much room there. But let's give it a go and see what happens. If we break it, we break it. If we don't, we don't. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's definitely, uh, definitely pretty strong. Oh. That ain't going nowhere. Unless... Uh, <laughs> now we've got now we're getting somewhere Ugh. Ugh. Aha. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> all right now we've got a bit of shape in our little tree Now, we're going to be like that. We're probably going to want this to come back this way a little bit and that to go forward. What do you reckon? Because we're going to want to come back first and then forward at the top. I mean, I don't really know if you need to follow traditional bonsai rules for Christmas trees, but I mean, why not? Let's give it a go. So, I want to bend that way, so I'm going to have to bend it like here. <laughs> I 
Well, you reckon that's looking pretty sweet. <laughs> now that, I doubt I'm gonna bend that because it's just too close to the end. So I'm gonna have to try and bend it at this internode here. Internode, this length, <laughs> this length here and try and bring it up a bit more. So that's gonna have to bend back this way. No, I need that bend to stay. Don't you go anywhere. So I'm going to have to hold it there. This is going to be the hardest bend out of a lot of them. Oh. Alright, so let's see what we've got here. I can't even know, don't even remember where the front was now. <coughs> That's, that's probably good there. What do you reckon? About there. Because we come, come out at an angle. We've got a little bit of a straight section here, which maybe we can just get a little bit more. Oh. Don't want to damage the roots while I'm doing this. Because at least we've got a trunk that comes out backwards, not forwards. We don't have any pigeon, pigeon breasting. We do have a little bit of a straight line here, but because this is gonna be a conifer, we can cover that up. If we were using a deciduous Christmas tree, that might be a lot harder. And we can kind of cover that little straight section up there a little bit too. All right, well, we've got our base. Now we've got to sort out our first branching, which is obviously going to be here. Because we're going to want to keep around the bottom third of the tree open so we can see our awesome bends that we did here. And then we're going to want our first branch to come off the outside of the, you know, our, our main bend here. So let's get some uh, branches and see what we can do. All right, so we've got our branches now. This is going to be our first branch. So what we may have to do with some of these is because these Christmas trees, uh, when, they, when they make them, they make them in a whirl pattern, which is not fantastic. So we've got two spaces on the, our outside of our bend here where the branches will actually fit into where they're supposed to go. Um, like that. So obviously we can kind of bend that into place and put some styling into it. But if we want branches in a spot where we don't have a good place, we can always measure out the wire on the end of the branch here. And because this is aluminium, we can drill into it and put our branch wherever we like. But let's see what we get out of what we can work with here and then if we need to make some modifications later we can now as for these branches it's actually really good because they've got a wire core which means i don't have to do any wiring today and we've also got fairly highly ramified branches which is pretty good although we might have to cut some cut some growth off here because we've got some we've got some downward growing branches that aren't really good but we've got some some layering here that we can use too so we can actually make some fairly decent pads out of these so let's put this first branch on and see where we go with that now I guess one of the first things we're gonna to wanna to decide is what kind of tree we're going for here in terms of style, because that's really gonna determine our branch structure here. If we were gonna go for more of an Australian style tree, we would have kind of up, out and up branches. If we're gonna go for, you know, your classic Japanese kind of style, your coniferous kind of style, we would have more of a down and out and up 
kind of style. Um, if we're going to go for more of that alpine kind of thing, like we spoke at the start of the video, we might look at just having our branches come down. But I think we're going to stick to more of the traditional Japanese style with this one and go for the down and out kind of branching and see what that gets us. So, like always, we want to kind of bend at our shoulder and get some movement in close to the trunk. And the thing we've got to remember here is we're not really going to get any back budding. So we're going to need to bend this as close as possible. All right, so. At least the, higher, the wire holds really well, so that's good. We chose the right gauge. Now. Yeah. And we're going to want to bring it back a little bit just here. And now we can bring this kind of forward, which should give us some nice shape and it brings our first, our first branches here a little bit closer to the trunk. Because as I said, the problem with using a fake tree is if we've got all this area here that's not going to have any foliage on it and we're definitely not going to get any back budding, so we've got to try and bend the branch in as close as we can to the trunk. But the beauty of it is, is you're really not going to break the branch, so... All right, see how that looks. I just cut the top of it off there, call it a day. <laughs> now that looks pretty good just for a basic structure. We might actually try and put a few more branches on here and there. Um, I'm actually thinking I might try and utilize this here and hopefully I can hide it well enough that I can get a back branch here and add some depth to the back of the tree because we don't want the back of the tree to be bare. Or we could just wire this up to be our new leader. But we're going to bring this down to add some depth to the tree around the back here. Deep down inside, I'm still waiting to hear that cracking and the breaking. <laughs> Not too bad. What I'm wondering if that hides that. Not real well, so I might try and take it that way a little bit more. What I'm trying to do is hide this obvious piece of wire that's just here behind the trunk. So I might try and just bring this this way just a little bit more. And then we can use that to bring that back to where it was. Alright, so we've got our first branch here, we've got our back branch. I'm actually thinking we're going to need a branch in here to fill in this gap, which is good because we've got a bend here where we can actually attach a branch to the outside and come down. And then we may put our apex on and just kind of see where the style of the tree is going before we start shaping these out too much and adding too many branches. So let me just get another branch here. This one's actually got the remnants of a Christmas ball on it actually wondering if I can put this 
in one of these back holes. If it'll go in there, there we go. I can still put it out this way, but hopefully we can hide a bit of that wire the best, best we possibly can. If it'll actually go in. There we go. And I guess we can still run that through the support that it has there. It just kind of hides it a little bit better. Oh. And if you come out and seen a branch like that on your bonsai, you'd be having a funeral for it because that would be a broken branch. Now, so what I'm actually thinking with this branch is we're gonna take it back and then we're gonna try and bring the branch back in and around once again to try and keep it closer to the, closer to the trunk because it's you know, hard working with no back budding. Usually we can plan ahead in the future for this thing, but with this, we got nothing, so. All right, so I just bent this branch into place. Um, you kind of missed it because the camera stopped recording, but we've got that sorted out now. What I was explaining when I was bending this one into place, I wanted to kind of bend it backwards a little bit, following back this little bit of the trunk line here, go backwards and then bring it back in forwards to just add a bit of that depth. And we're gonna try and add the apex to the tree now just to see how it looks and where we can go with the design with the apex on and see what we wanna do. So we'll uh, adjust the camera angles and we'll get the apex on the tree. All right, so I've got the apex of the tree now and unfortunately with this type of Christmas tree, we have gotta work opposite to how we work in the bottom. So with the bottom, we were adding branches um, where we wanted to. But with the top of the tree, because this is all wire now, they've actually got the branches attached to the tree. So what we're gonna have to do is put the apex on, bend it into shape, and then start eliminating branches. So it's gonna be closer to what we do with, you know, a real tree. But the issue we're gonna have here is once I put this apex on, the tree is gonna wanna go this way. But what we have to do is kind of bring the apex back towards me slightly and into this gap because what we're gonna end up with here is an informal upright tree. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is try and bend this just a little bit and see if I can do it while it's on the tree because these aren't exactly the easiest to bend. So we'll just bend this and see what happens. I'm just wondering if I can get a bit more shape down lower here. Still may need a little bit more. A little bit more persuasion. And then with our apex, that seems to have a key in it. There we go, key. A key to good bonsai is doing the bonsai and masterclass courses. There you go. Now let's see if we can get this top part bent up. And I'm gonna come to the front and have a look because I'm standing behind the tree and I can't actually see if it actually looks any good. You can actually see the shape better from behind the tree. Oh. 
All right, so you can't really see it at the moment because there's just too much going on here, but we've kind of got a bend here. So if we bought some of these branches, you know, more this way, we may have to eliminate them. You don't really want any eye poking branches, but if we could have another kind of layer there like that, we may have to eliminate them guys. We should have a bend here somewhere, which means we could make use of these, but these don't seem to be actual branches here, so we may have to make use of some of the other ones. And then we've got our apex, which we can play with later. But that looks pretty good for a start now. I'm gonna have to go and get a set of wire cutters so that I can start cutting some of these other branches off that we're not gonna use. And then we'll come back and see where we're at. Alrighty, so we've got our cutters and we're just deciding on a few more places where we're gonna put branches. As I said, we've decided on an informal upright tree. So our apex is gonna be in this region here, which is kind of straight to where the, the trunk emerges from. So we do have a gap down in here that needs to be filled. So I'm gonna just quickly chuck another branch in here and see if we can just quickly fill that gap. They're not the easiest to get into the holes. Just see if that filled that gap a bit better. Ah, perfect. Well, uh, this guy here seems to be an issue. Because like with normal bonsai, we don't really want to cover too much of our trunk line at this, the front of the tree. I mean, we don't want to really leave it really open and bare because that would look just as bad, but we don't want to we don't want to have a lot of branches coming straight at the viewer and we'd like to kind of show a little bit of that shape in the trunk there. So we do have, you know, we've got a front branch here. We've got some backfill. We've got a back branch here. We've got some nice branching here. Some of these are going to have to be cut back a little bit so they're not quite so long. But I think we're starting to work our way into a little bit of a design now, a basic structure. So we're just going to prune out some of this and uh, that way we can kind of see our apex a little bit better in here. I think if we get rid of these guys. And just make sure you do this pruning work at the right time of year, otherwise you could set your tree back a fair bit, so. All right. We might be able to see a bit more of a defined apex now. Oh, not really. Still need to get rid of more of this stuff just here. Although the beautiful thing about this is if we do accidentally take too much foliage off, we can reattach it without the foliage turning brown. <coughs> We're starting to get some uh, Issues with the tree having too much weight on one side here. Alrighty, so I had to go and get some bonsai wire because the base of our tree where I've actually done one of the bends and put a kink in the aluminium, as the weight starts to go to one side, it starts to want to just tip that little bit. So I'm going to throw a little bit of wire around the base just to support it and then we can cover that up later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So now that we've started uh, pruning this apex a bit, we've opened up an issue just here. We've got a very horizontal line, well, close to horizontal, it's probably just off. So we're gonna have to maybe try and bend it back a little bit, back this way and then up to try and take it out, but not move it too far away from where it needs to be. If, if that is our 
If that is our center down there, because we're definitely not going to want this horrible line here. So let's try and see if we can bend this. All right, now that we've got all our main branches set, well, we got them set roughly anyway. Uh, we've got our apex roughly in the position where we want it. And we've thinned it out a little bit just to see where we're at. Now we can go through and start refining some of these branches a bit more and moving all the individual little branches into place to make it look a little less bushy and a little bit more like a bonsai. Um, so we've got a few little branches here and there. Um, well, we've really got to concentrate on trying to shorten them back up a little bit. So we may even have to cut, cut the ends off them a little bit, give them a bit of a prune so they're not so long on one side. And I'll go through and do that now. And then I'll be back with you after to see where we're at. Every snowfall reminds me to call Cause I know if you're not here Then it's not Christmas at all This year, oh, I believe You're coming back to me I'll be your angel When the snow's coming down The song is singing Angel here all around Small piece of heaven On a thin town It's only Christmas If you're coming around If you're coming around Oh, oh, oh If you're coming around If you're coming around You feel like Christmas every day Now we've got the tips of the branches uh, shaped up and you can see we've got more of a bonsai shape in the tree here. I don't know how much of it you can see on the camera but from what I can see here on the screen it's looking pretty good. Uh, pretty happy with the shape. I didn't think we were going to get this much shape into the tree when I felt how thick the, you know, the center of the tree was. The only thing that I'm going to do now is I've got a few of these little plastic round things here that uh, the lower branches actually clip into. So I'm gonna get some of the other foliage and cut it off and wrap it around there so we can mask them up. So I'll quickly do that and get that done and then I'll be back and we'll finish the video up. Yeah, see that's all right. That's just a bit of wire bite, that's all. <laughs> That'll grow out, she'll be sweet. We'll have that out by next year. All right, we're done. We've got the uh, tree in a bonsai pot now. It's just an unglazed pot. We had a few big ones laying around in the shop here at Bonsai End, so we thought we'd do that. We put some, put some snow on top of it. We've got some snow hanging off the sides here, just to give it that little bit more of a Christmas feel. But you know what? I hope you guys enjoyed this with everything that we've gone through this year in 2020. Uh, it's sometimes good just to relax and have a bit of fun with something, which is all this video is meant to be. And, you know, as I said, if you want to give this a go, it's at your own risk. If your wife happens to kill you, not my fault. But this is pretty cool. This is going to look a lot better in our land room this year instead of one of those upright Christmas trees that everybody has. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And for those of you out there that are still serious about actual bonsai, we do have the Masterclass series that's now available. We are running our first courses in a week from the release of this video so if you're watching this later on down the track uh, you'll have to check the website to see when the next courses are available but we do have our beginners masterclass and our pine to candling class coming up um, they're very cheap but very informative they're fully interactive meaning that you can ask real-time questions get real-time answers and i hope to see you all there have a merry christmas and i'm signing out this is josh from bonsai and see you later